name's Bill Withers. I'm the founder of a company called Acquire and a company called Adapt. Um, I've been in the uh, mining business since uh, 1981. I began my life as a geological draftsman and then I went to university. Uh, I came out as a software engineer, technical software engineer, and went on a journey to start building technologies for the, uh, in the mining industry and founded Acquire in 1996. Acquire is now 21 years old and uh, I'm now, I left my role as managing director of Acquire in 2014 and now I'm the founder of another company called Adapt by Design. Well, there's a lot of them, but uh, I think the top three are discipline. Um, I think discipline is an essential ingredient because it's you have to have focus and you have to be you also have to be resilient. Um, and I think feedback fit is the other one. So you're going to get lots of feedback and a lot of it's going to be uncomfortable. And so you have to build your capacity to actually listen to what people are saying uh, and not get defensive. Leadership is about personal behaviour. Uh, it's about empowering others and enabling others. And, uh, you know, yeah, we all have a Lego and, and uh, the more consciousness we have of that ego and how it plays out, Singularly, my major challenge was sometimes when I got passionate, I could close off my capacity to listen. So as I went on my journey, uh, and I still haven't nailed that one, I still fall off the horse, that was the thing I had to focus on. So leadership is everything, because at the end of the day, you want to enable other people to build a really competent and efficient and effective and, and a team in which you can have fun. For me, I really like inventing things or trying things out or solving problems. So if you put all that together, I think the startups are an amazing vehicle because they, they, uh, you've got this generally a small team of people that are all extraordinarily focused on trying to resolve uh, a, a serious challenge. Uh, so they're extremely exciting places to be. I think keeping the fire going is, a, is a, a very, very challenging, it's a challenging thing. And in ADAPT today, uh, I'm now, while I was building Acquire, I was fascinated about the idea of building an organisation as much as building, which is a platform to build many products. So I learnt a lot about, well, how do you build organisations that are resilient? And that's what ADAPT's purpose is, is to help startups and SMEs build resilient organisations that can take the hits, deal with the ups and downs of the markets, you know, so you, how do you actually design a business to, to understand that, you know, you're an organism that is in habitats it has no control over. So it's a very biological, view on business as opposed to, say, a mechanistic view. Hierarchies are, you know, they're, they're not great for collaboration, they're not great for creativity, they're not great for succession. You go to these singularities and you have a lot of uh, responsibility tied up with a small team at the beginning. So, the key is now is to say, how do we decentralise decision making? How do we decentralise and enable people to have more autonomy and more personal responsibility? I've got this passion for startups, passion for the entrepreneurial journey and enabling entrepreneurs, intersected with my 30 years of uh, history uh, in, in the resources industry. So I think it's a logical thing to put those two things together. And, you know, I was, I was listening earlier to some of the challenges of Newton Labs. And what I think is interesting is 20 years ago, I had the same challenges. So I'm particularly keen to help entrepreneurs and, and 
try and uh, enable the industry to shift to make um, you know engagement of entrepreneurship and engagement of, of startups you know really help them remove the barriers.